Hey guys, this is Mina, and this is an update video on what's going on currently with my channel. I guess we'll start at the very top, and first of all, I would like to say that uh, I would like to say that uh, everything's going to be positive, but it's pretty much going to be a not so positive video. So there's no way to get around it. Let's start from the very top. Number one, YouTube is in fact demonetizing me. Um, I'm definitely not big enough for them to care about, and um, that was somewhat of a blow to my ego, but it's fine. Um, number two, uh, this, this is just really going over how much effort it work, it, it, it takes to make a video. Um, before I record a video, the first thing I, I have to do is, is a bit of a, a self-motivation sort of thing when I look in the mirror. I, I basically go over in my head, I'm like, okay, you're gonna make this video, I need you to be pumped up before you get to this video, I need you to really want to talk to the people, I need, need you to, you know, just kind of like the self-motivator of like, you better not make this video boring, okay? I'm not gonna accept you not being, you know, you're 100% here, okay? So, um, a lot of it with Danganronpa V3, I would actually do a bunch of, of voice acting, talking to myself, with with Shibichi talking to Kaede or talking to whoever. Just the um the level of just conversations I would have in front of the mirror, um, just to get myself worked up a little bit about before I record. Um I mean, there's that, there's the amount of time I spend editing, there's the, um, just, just all in all, it, it takes a lot of time to get a video recorded. And it, it also really depends on my, my mental state for, for that. And by mental state, I don't mean like I'm going crazy or anything, but like, I need to be in a good place before I record a video. Otherwise, it's just going to be silence because I'm just, I'm just not in, I'm just not in the mood to, to do it. And that's, that's kind of a, that's a weird thing to talk about because I, I think when I, when I had a, when I had, um, a regular job, I didn't need to be in a, in a mood to, to record or, or not to record, but to like work at the job. Like, if I was, if I was, for example, when I was working in the food industry, it didn't matter if I was being fake. It didn't matter if I was being fake in that moment of, of handing someone their food. You know, I, like I can, I can put on my, my fake persona right now where, um, hi, can I take your order today? Like that sort of really perky, happy voice with a smile and, and just, really hoping that my my cheeriness will will carry into that person by just by virtue of being kind and sweet and smiling and happy and even if they say something mean or negative to me it rolls right off of me when i'm in that moment of of being fake because it's not me on display right there that is that is my employee face nothing you can say really bugs me because i'm being totally fake with you but I'm really, like, I don't want to be mean to the person, but I'm being an employee at that moment. I'm being, I've, I've put on this face of an employee. Because if I was really how I wanted to be at that job, I would have been pretty normal-faced. I wouldn't be sad or mad or upset. I'd just be kind of like, hi, can I take your order today? Ah, here you go. Thank you. Just, like, I would be kind of blasé about it. But... I don't want to be that way when I record a video. I don't want to be blasé about it at all. I want to be myself. And that's why when I record a video, I'm either in a really good or hyped mood to record or I'm just I'm just really ready to record it. I noticed that with Persona 5 when I recorded it that I wasn't in a good mood all the time. I just recorded because hey, I need to record. That's what I need to do. I need to record and that needs to be, that that needs to be done. So sometimes I would just be kind of 
I wouldn't be mad at the game. I wouldn't be sad about the game, but I'd just be playing the game in a way that was just kind of like, yeah, I'm playing a game. It, it was good. It's fun. But it doesn't make for a good viewing experience. What I noticed with Danganronpa V3 was a lot of people enjoyed that that series for being way more energetic, way more way more excited and way more into what was going on. And part of that was because it was a brand new game. And another part of it was I I kind of went into it way too excited for the game and people reacted with a, a strong positive, wow, you're enjoying this game. I really like it. And I realized that when I was really hyped up, it was... It, it wasn't unnatural of me, but it was just kind of like, no, I'm entering this new game. I'm pretty excited about it. And I was ready to play it. So I felt, I felt like, oh, okay. If I'm just excited to play the game, like I should be, then people enjoy it more. And it's not a fake reaction. It's more of a, I got myself into the mindset of really enjoying the game. Towards, towards the end of Danganronpa V3, I, I was still being myself, but what I didn't say that I did was I edited a lot of my opinions and thoughts out of the episodes. I've really regretted doing this. I really regret holding back all my thoughts and opinions throughout the last six or seven, maybe even 10 episodes I edited at the end where I wasn't saying completely every, well, I, I, I did say it, but you guys didn't get to see it because I edited it out. Um, I've received so much support from a lot of you guys, but that support probably only comprises about one fourth of what I've, um, I've I've got to read from both the comment section, the emails, the messages that I receive across all of my social media, um, the the negative reaction was a lot stronger. And this kind of ties into a little bit more of my mental state when it comes to recording. Um, I go into a recording now not thinking so much about having fun, but a lot of worry and stress on, on how I need to be careful on what I say, how I need to be careful on what I do, how I need to be more quiet about my opinions, how I need to be a little more restrained on, on everything. And with that worry and stress comes that element of something that I really don't want to say, but I, I don't want to do it. And when I don't want to, I find myself either falling back on faking that I want to play the game, but I'm not feeling very good about it. Like, I don't feel very good about recording. Um, and, and that just, that leads to both me not satisfied with what I've done for a recording. Cause I, I, I've already recorded, um, part of the, the next episode of Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. And I stopped halfway in the recording and realized I I wasn't having fun because I wasn't able to talk the way I wanted to talk about the game. And I know part of this is, because I've spoken to several people, part of this is I need to just put that all aside and don't think so much about the negative stuff and focus back more on the positive but it's really, it's really weighing down on me at the moment, and I need to find a way to, to let, let that stress go. So, this isn't me not going to upload a video, it's just, I need, I need a day for me to be really feeling like, um, recording a video, and I will, uh, 
I'll record it and upload it. Um, so I'm, I'm doing a lot of, uh, I, I was actually planning originally playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2, um, for you guys, but after I, I talked to someone about it, I realized that I was going to be pretty vocal on my opinions on what's happening in the game, and it would not all be positive. Uh, a lot of it would be not positive. But, I mean, it's not that I don't like the game. I actually really love the game. I could see myself finishing this game for sure. But, I think when when somebody would take my reaction to some of the stuff, they would have seen it as, oh, she's being, she hates this game. She's so negative towards it. And I would have received more, more messages that would have made it a really hard for me to keep going. Um... So I'm I'm probably going to play this game offline and and just you know to myself this this game's for me, um. But I I I am going to do more Ultra Despair Girls. I just need I just need a little time. Just give me give me a a a day to come by for me to be in a really good happy mood to record and. I'll get that recording done, and it'll be uploaded, and we can all enjoy it. Um, and I'm going to work harder at finding a way to receive the the negative feedback I receive because it I I wouldn't well I wouldn't call it criticism because it's it's not criticism when you tell someone that that their opinions are are wrong or bad or that you. You don't want them to state their opinions anymore. You don't want them to speak anymore. You're tired of hearing. You're tired of hearing that person. That's that's not that's not criticism that's going to help me and improve my channel. I I don't think I don't think the right method is to be more silent about how I feel or think about something. I don't think the solution is that I need to conform my opinion to be the same as everyone else's. I don't think the the right answer is that my opinion should should be the majority's opinion on something because that would be lying to myself, that would be being fake to the world at large, and I don't think that's what people want. I think people do want me to to, to be myself and to be very real when I speak to them about a game that I like or dislike. I think it's important that I be that person. And I would also agree that any any other Let's Player out there who has an opinion that maybe they, they agree with the majority. They shouldn't feel the need to be different than the majority. They should, they sh if that's how they feel, they should feel that way. As, as long as your opinion, in, in my personal opinion, as long as your opinion isn't out there to harm someone, you know, or is not out there to, to, to like, hurt someone else in a physical or mental, emotional capacity, then you can have an opinion. Like... I mean, even if, even if it is that you don't, you hate someone to the point of like, you know, mentally hating them or whatever, emotionally hating them. But as long as you're not actually trying to assault that person with your opinion, that's fine. That's fine. You can, you can have that opinion. That's what opinions are. They're your own. I don't think, I don't think anybody should change their opinion. Especially, and especially the people who hate my opinion. They shouldn't have to change. That's their opinion. That's totally fine. You can have that. <sighs> anyway. I, I don't, I didn't want that to turn out to be a rant. I hope that didn't come off as a rant. That's just me being very serious about people having opinions. It's fine. People have them. People are different. Um, I don't want this to come off as an attack to any individual, period. This is not an attack. This is me just stating that I need a little time to process 
Because I do read everything people send to me. I do. I do care. I do care that I want to be a better... A better YouTuber. A better Twitch player. A better Let's Player. A better streamer in general. To, to all of you guys. But what I want to also do is I don't want to... Well, I, what I want to do is I want to be the realest person that I can be, which is myself. I'm not here to create a, a fake persona of myself for you guys. I'm not here to just be a part of the majority of, of people who have the same opinion on something. I'm not, I'm not here to put on the employee face that I would put on it and at any other job. I'm, I'm here to be quite literally myself so that way you guys can enjoy how I, I see the world in the game. Um, and if, if it bothers, if it bothers you so much that my opinion is so wrong and so different, I, I, all I can say is, is that I'm sure that there is, there has to be another Another YouTuber, another Let's Player, another another person out there for you to enjoy, and 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 that they will they will suit you far better. Because I I don't plan on ever just joining arms with what the majority of people think or feel on on anything. I because I I strongly believe that I I should be myself. So. I think I'll wrap this up with a little bit more positive. Um, if you guys are curious about my Xeno, my Xenoblade Chronicle adventures, um, you can join. You can join the Discord. Um, I have been tweeting some pictures of me playing the game. Uh, I, I I hope I'm not spoiling anything when I do that. I'm tr I'm not including spoilers. I don't think. But I might be, I, you know, <laughs> just, uh, just come, just come hang out there. Um, and I might, I might just do a couple of streams here and there, but this is game mostly is, is offline fun for me just to relax and chill with. Um, that being said, I am going to be streaming Persona 5. Uh, I made a promise to the podcast that I would, that I would finish Persona 5 before the next podcast. So that's that's going to be done. And Mario Odyssey is a good time. So 100% going to be streaming that. And hopefully I'll get an Ultra Despair Girls episode up soon. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you hung around to this very end. Uh, have, have a happy... Have a happy... What, what's coming up next? Valentine's Day, I guess. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.